Hey, thanks for stopping by at Twisted Art Designs. This is going to be something totally different and off the wall from what I normally do. I normally show art journaling and altered books, Julie netting things, um, lettering, all kinds of things like that. But I also do other things too, and I love to crochet. And I just had to do a quick video to show this idea that I had. I have never seen anybody do this, so if somebody else has done this, then great minds think alike, but I have not found any videos about it or seen anybody else doing this. So if you like to crochet and make blankets, check this idea out. I made this blanket for my brother and sister-in-law for Christmas and a normal throw blanket size is 50 inches wide by 60 inches long. What I did for something totally different and you can do any pattern that you want so any blanket any stitch any pattern doesn't matter that's up to you to do but this idea is going to blow you away instead of making your length 60 inches long make it 72 inches long sounds crazy super long but 50 inches wide by 72 inches long then what i did check this out it's so cool I took, and at one end, I folded over 12 inches over. And I picked which side I wanted as my inside and which side I wanted as my outside. On this pattern, it's pretty much all the same, but I just picked which one looked nicest on the outside. So on the inside, I folded over 12 inches. Then what I did, was I, before I folded it, I boarded it. And that's because um, this was the kind where, because I had a lot of color changes, it had all the strings that you can sew in or you can make an encased border. So this is an encased border. And so my strings don't get sewn in, they're in the encased border. So what I did was on, on one end, I did the encased border all the way across. So did my slip stitch all along the edge, then did a, um, a row into the slip stitch. I did four rows of triple crochet, then I turned it over and on the other side of the slip stitch, I picked it up and did four rows of, of um, triple crochet. And then you put them together, sandwiching all those, those threads, and then um, slip stitch the top to slip it together. So that would mean that one end was completed and then I folded over 12 inches of that blanket. Then I slip stitched across the fold. So you know when you fold the blanket over, you're going to have an end like this with nothing and no border. I just marked it with stitch markers and I did a slip stitch straight across so that I could get the border at the end as well because I want the whole blanket to be bordered. And I did, I so I sewed it up the two sides. So what you end up with is a flipped over pocket end. Okay. So then I went all the way around my entire blanket and did a border. And this one again happens to be um, the enclosed border. I did, uh, I think here I only did three rows. Here I did four rows. So four rows of triple crochet and then stitched it together to hide all my my ends from color changes and then so the whole entire blanket is bordered so it's all bordered looks really cute looks pretty it all goes together nicely and then at the end here what i did was i found center of my folded over part I fold this in half found center matched which color this was and on the inside see if you can see that I used my um, my darning needle and I went through and I did a this uh, stitch that would be similar to doing a slip stitch, but doing it with a needle all the way across inside. And I did two rows of it to make it nice and solid. On the front side, you can't even see what I did because here's here's the loops here, so you can't see it. On the inside, what you end up with are two pockets and these pockets are for what do you think for your feet 
<laughs> so at one end of the blanket, if you turn it upside down like this and right side up, and you're going to lay on your lay on your couch or on a chair or whatever, underneath is a pocket where you can slip your feet into the pockets in the back. So you can put your feet in like this. Your feet are in the pockets. And then you take the whole blanket and put it over you. You know how when you're laying on the couch and you've got a blanket, what is always the thing that happens? You have it warm and snugly up around your neck and your feet pop out and your feet get cold. And so you're constantly trying to kick the blanket down over your feet. Well, that's kind of how I came up with the idea for this. I hate when my feet are popped out and they don't stay under the blanket. So now you've got an inside foot pocket on either side. And it's big enough too the two people could snuggle and they'd each have a, a place for their feet or you could put one foot on in either pocket. So my blanket ends up turning out to be, because you fold it in 12 inches and you made it 72 long, it still ends up being the throw size of 60 by 50 by 60. So I just want to show my foot pocket idea because I think it is just way too cool. And I'm going to make more of these as gifts for my family for next year because I just think it's super fun and super cool. So wanted to share that idea. If you're a crocheter, make a blanket, make it extra long, flip that pocket over, border that edge, then stitch the sides, then stitch the center, then border your whole blanket and you're going to end up with the coolest foot pocket, foot warmer blanket as a wonderful, wonderful gift to give someone. So I hope you enjoyed this tip and that you're doing something fun, whether it's making an art journal or paper dolls or playing with Julie Nutting stamps or crocheting or whatever floats your boat. I do my crocheting when I'm having issues with my back or my leg and I just uh, kick back in my recliner and work on gifts for the family. So I also do, <laughs> I also do crochet. I learned from my grandma when I was a little girl and I am using her crochet hooks. She passed away some years ago. And I'm hoping that she's looking down from heaven going, oh my gosh, she was listening. Because I don't think she thought I was listening when I was learning how to crochet. <laughs> so thanks for stepping by. Go have fun. Be happy. Art soothes the heart. <laughs>